Hey folks, this IOE Thermo back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Mirza 1995 in the Object 268. That's a tier 10 game on my folks. And yeah, so this should be a fun game one way or the other. As uh, this thing is <laughs> known for its, well, trollish cannon and the ability to hit hard when it decides it wants to hit things. So it looks like he's posting up in these bushes. He's aiming across the swamp. If we had such scouts, um, then this would be a great spot to be sitting. We don't, so we're going to see if these heavy tanks can uh, do something helpful. Uh, it should be noted, though, that we have three people going down the railway tracks, including two of them in our platoon, um, who are Domes or and... 10 uh, 10 fan one or maybe it really is T N or T 3 N F 4 N 1 I don't know can't make heads or tails of that name I'm just gonna call him 10 looks a bit um Mirza knows he's not going to get any action where he was, so he's going to switch sides. We're going to speed him up a little bit so he gets in position just a little bit faster. To the point where um, we're not going to sit here and watch him move all day. Because, oddly enough, none of us has time for that. Uh, looks like he's pushing forward, knowing he can't get a shot from back there. And he's got to push up to this bush trust tree line over here. And when he gets here, he's got his HE almost completely loaded. Pushes down the tree. Um, I don't recommend that just because obviously people can see trees falling from the other side of the map. Um, and so as soon as you push down a tree, everybody immediately knows, hey, there's a tank there. Because there's no other reason for a tree to fall. Yes, technically artillery can knock over a tree with some HE. But the amount of times that happens is so rare it's just not worth uh, considering as an option when you're going hey look a tree fell over you know you never of the time you're not like oh artillery just fired there no you just go well there's there must be a tank moving around so don't knock over trees unless you have to I understand the fact that he's doing it for cover but still it tells everybody in the map where he is so just be a little careful with that unfortunately it doesn't look like we're gonna get a shot from this position and in fact has to push forward uh, though his platoon mates are eating some damage in the meantime looks like Ten is going to have some problems living if he's not very careful dealing with this I-7 okay so Ten dies unfortunately and um uh his buddy is moving in to help him out Domzor and just to take out the IS-7. Looking for the shot on the FV-4005 Death Star. Oh yeah! 1200 damage right in the side of the kisser. That is going to leave a mark. And that makes up for the rest of this game being so slow. The Grail is hopefully going to spot him again. And then we're going to have another shot on him. But maybe not. We're just about to well, we reload and we just gotta wait for him to pop back up again. Um, unfortunately, we lose the conqueror behind us to the other conqueror, and now our platoon mate needs help. Conqueror is only thinking about the, the E50M. He's not thinking about the 268 that he didn't know was here, so he obviously couldn't be thinking about us. Oh yeah, there's 800 damage and finished off, but with artillery. And that is how you do that. And you know, I'll trade 800 damage for like 450 damage every day of the week. Um, and, and twice on Wednesdays. Reloading some more HE as he knows there's an FE pushing down towards him. Now, he's going to see if he can use this bush right on the ridge line. I don't think it's going to come in as useful as he'd like it to be. But... Apparently it's useful enough as he gets another 1100 damage out onto the other FV-4005. 
Unfortunately, the FE takes it and t kills his teammate. Just one shot straight through the heart. And unfortunately, this puts us in a little bit of a bad situation. He really does need to kill the 4005 first so that he can go head to head with the E4. But the E4 has the advantage of a, a turret first off and B. Ooh. So, using that turret, he still only manages to track us. Um, as much as he's got the advantage of the turret, he's also got the advantage of some fairly heavy armor. So we're going to actually have to aim for a little bit of a weak spot. Or, you know, he can give us the side of his turret. Yeah, that'll work too. And then apparently not return fire as we back up over a hill. So now loading the gold, because you got to make sure you win these fights, right? Uh, backing up far enough, he gets this second shot off before the E4 gets his first damaging shot in. Now the unfortunate part is that we have to shoot the E4 one more time and the E4 just has to pen one more shot against us so if this shot does not go in that would be the end of that. But thankfully it is in fact the end of that in our favor. Unfortunately all this time there's been a batch hit in our base destroying our back line. So that's that. <laughs> we have taken out some of their better and bigger tank destroyers but the bad chat has taken out our back line and oh for a second there I thought he finished off the grill um, he's got to be pretty close to finishing off that grill oh speaking of back lines oh the bad chat knows he was spotted interesting oh and nope the uh, the grill 15 has taken out the bad chat and that makes it a more favorable fight um, unfortunately we just lost a moss and so now we gotta push for it into the enemy base. With yeah, we're in the lead, so I guess we'll be okay. There's an E100 over in the town, and there's a GW100 around here somewhere. Now we're gonna speed up a little bit because nobody wants to see him drive forward in a straight line for a minute. <laughs> it's just not, you know, conducive to our viewing pleasure. Looking to see if he want, can get a shot in on the E100. Fence is in the way. Is he going to take the shot anyway? It looks like yes. But unfortunately, there is a hillside in the way too. And sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Looking for the artillery. Oh, there he is. Man, the last building. And just going to drive right up to him. Put the gun inside the enemy tank and pull the trigger. For the win, he also manages to complete his mission. So that all around great game. Thank you so much for sending in and let's jump over and see what he got as a bow result. Ace tanker, bruiser, demo expert, fighter, five for effect, nineteen bonds, Pascucci's medal, and a high caliber award. Well done. Wow. And just like that, he turned the tide. Um Props to some of the team. Um, the guys in the city definitely pushed hard enough to, to win. But, I mean, considering the fact that our entire team went over there, I feel like they should have won a bit easier. So, maybe not. <laughs> Again, some of these numbers. Um, and look, Han Solo was in this fight. I mean, it's, it's so rare, right? Okay, so, well done overall. Thank you so much for saying this. Like 10,000. Wow. Good job. <laughs> I hope you convert that all into free experience because that was definitely worth it then. Um, unfortunately, the 10,000 doesn't give you any free experience. That would be nice, right? But yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this and subscribe if you haven't already to get more of my content every day. And I'll see you all later. This is IOE Strive.